Hey, hey, party people, it's Lycona de Chichi here, and welcome to another video. I hope you are all doing well. Just recently, I leveled up all of my jobs to level 70 using Heaven on High. I noticed that I had parties where we cleared really quick in about 10 minutes, and other times we cleared it really slow, as in like over 30 minutes. So I wanted to share with you my strategies on how to run Heaven on High so that you can level up your jobs quickly and efficiently. Now, the thing is, is that I'm going to assume that you already have access to Heaven on High and you know the basic understanding of the mechanics and the mobs and the items. And I only want to be concentrating on floors 21 through 30 because those are the levels that most people will be using to level their own characters. Number one, mobs do not give you experience points. Only clearing the first 10 floors uh, will get you experience points. You only need to kill the minimum number of enemies to activate the key room. Attacking any other enemy just adds more time to the floor you're on, so once the door is open, it's just best to avoid as many enemies as possible, walk around them, and get to the key room to get to the next level. Number two, keep your map and item tabs open at all times. This information is critical to knowing where your party members are at, to seeing which rooms to explore, your items tab will contain pomanders, which you'll be able to activate if your party like hits a trap or pulls one too many mobs. You might have to use one of them to get yourself out of a sticky situation, so always keep those open. And the thing is with maps is that you also want to know where your party members are at and where you are in relative and what rooms you can discover and what rooms have already been discovered. So that way you can plan and move around and uh, strategize. So number three, use your pomanders often. I see a lot of folks in Heaven on High, like DPS not using the strength, or tanks not using the defensive ones, like all the time. Pop these when it's appropriate, keep using them because they're there to help you clear the content faster. They're there to give you a leg up and to, and to just get you through uh, a Heaven on High session like really quickly. And number four, pay attention to the key color in your map. That's the little key that appears. And that'll let you know if the key door is open in order for you to get to the key room and get to the next level. Number five, at the beginning of each floor, scout out as many rooms as possible. The faster you discover each of the rooms on the floor, the faster you can find the key room and get to the next level. Number six, Really important one, ignore coffers unless they're on your path of exploration. Don't worry about treasure chests too much. If the key door is open, like running from one side of the map all the way to the other just to get a chance of a, of a drop, it, it's not worth the time. If a coffer is near you, go and grab it, that's cool, but if there's a coffer that's like way, way out of the way and it's it's the furthest away from the key room don't even worry about it because it, I've, I've found out that it's actually faster to build build your uh, aether pool just by continuously running heaven on high just to like keep going and to keep and to keep going uh and not to worry so much about like the silver chests that are like really far away from the key door once it's activated uh and so so just get through them just go you'll be good number seven Run along the edges of the rooms to avoid traps. Traps will always spawn in the middle of the rooms. And if you run on the edge, like most likely you will not hit them. Simple, simple as that. And in addition, uh, number eight, traps never spawn in the hallways between rooms. So if you want to be extra safe, and this also account this also takes place for like higher levels as well you want to pull mobs from the room and uh and kill them in the hallways between each of these rooms you'll be able to kill the mobs there safely without getting that like surprise explosion or or having one of your party members like turn into an otter and then there are a couple other like caveats for heaven on high if if you open up a trap coffer and it's a it's a little mimic like those the th those mimics are the priority to be killed because they give you pox right and you've probably had pox and i've had pox and pox is like a horrible thing and if you don't have the pomander of purity then that pox is going to like really suck because a lot of these runs are going to be just like four dps and you're not going to have any heals so whenever you see a coffer like spawn you know it happens like go after that thing kill it kill it quick hopefully nobody gets pox and then you're good to go 
Um, another little thing is that if it's a three room level, that's like the, the level itself is only three rooms, you have to kill all of the mobs in order to get the exit to light up, in order to get the key room to light up. I've had it where I've been in a party and we've all gone to like the key room, we've all killed the mobs and it's like, great, we've killed the mobs, the key room's right there, but it's not activated. Then we have to run over two rooms, kill those mobs, and by the time we get, by the time we kill those mobs and like come all the way back, then there might be another mob that spawned like in the middle room. We have to kill that one, and then we gotta go like to the key room, and then it's finally activated. Whereas if you, if you're in a party of four and you split up, uh, two party members can, you know, take care of the mobs in the opposite side of the room, and two members can take care of the key room, and then only those two members can run back to the key room. And therefore, you're you're only having to run once, as opposed to the, the entire party at the key room running all the way to the other side of the stage and then running back. So, it's a little bit of an optimization thing. It's not that big of a deal, but that's the thing that I've noticed, like with all of these runs. Use your magicites at appropriate times. Um, this is obvious. Pretty much, just you know, when you have one, you can use it. Sometimes you want to save it for the later stages, like like the like the levels like say 25 through 30. Also, one of the things I've noticed with the Pomander of Petrify is that uh, a lot of folks will pop that as soon as they get into the level. But the thing is, you don't want to pop it as soon as you get into the level because there is a timer on that. And if the level's big, then you're going to have to sprint through the level in order to like one shot these mobs like going all the way through. The closer you are to those enemies and into the next room, you're going to have more time run through the level and hit the mobs at, at the very end. Because sometimes what I've seen is, well, the party will like stone the enemies really quick, and by the time you get to like the last set in the last room, uh, the timer wears off and then you have to fight these enemies. So hopefully those strategies will give you and your party or your pug group uh, a chance to run Heaven on High faster to get the experience to level up your characters faster. And don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe if you like these videos, if you like knowing like the intricate details of Final Fantasy and all of its workings. Um, I will continue to make more because I think it's fun, I think it's awesome, and I think you guys can learn a lot. And I know I've been learning a lot in uh, just recording. <laughs> it's quite the uh it's quite it's quite fun i enjoy it i hope you guys do do too i gotta figure out a, an outro i don't know i'll figure one but until next time i'll see you guys later